Hey guys, it's Kazlo, and we're back playing some Final Fantasy 3. It's actually 6. Uh, the Brave New World patch. Um, we're going to be starting that tonight. Uh, if you don't know what Brave New World is, uh, it's a mod hack that makes the game a little bit uh, more difficult, as well as uh, really adding some restrictions on your characters and changing up uh, some of the leveling stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Long ago, the War of the Magi reduced the world to a scorched wasteland, and magic simply ceased to exist. A thousand years have passed. Iron, gunpowder, and steam engines have all emerged, and high technology reigns. But there are some who would enslave the world by reviving the dread destructive force known as magic. <clears throat> Can it be that those in power are on the verge of repeating a senseless and deadly mistake? There's the city. I forgot I actually have to press stuff. <clears throat> it's hard to believe an Esper's been found intact there a thousand years after the War of the Magi. Think it's still alive? Probably, judging from the urgency of our orders. What about this? This witch? Why did we have to bring her? I heard she failed 50 of our Magitek armored soldiers. I heard she fried 50 of our Magitek armored soldiers in just a few... Oh, okay, I missed all of that. Sorry, guys. Relax. The slave crown on her head robs her of all conscious thought. She'll follow orders. We'll approach from the east. Move out. Now, like I said, this is a, a little bit of a ROM hack. It kind of uh, changes up, limiting like which Esper's characters can equip, um, as well as uh, some other balance tweaks and correcting some uh, some bugs that were in the original Final Fantasy III uh, on the Super Nintendo. But Final Fantasy VI was actually is actually my favorite um, RPG, my favorite in the Final Fantasy series for sure. Um, it's a game that I grew up playing all the time. Uh, although I've only actually beaten it once, uh, I've played through most of the game numerous times. Um, a really funny story is <clears throat> my brother and I had a Game Shark and took it upon ourselves uh, there was a code that you could put in and it would change what the main character was equipped to, equipped with uh, we we played around with that code and we found out that there's certain digits that controlled what slot on the character the item was equipped in and other that controlled uh, the actual uh, piece of equipment and so we played through and cataloged every single item that you can do that way uh, and then did a playthrough where we uh, basically gave everybody I think it was the flame shield uh, it was the shield that let you absorb fire um, and also taught you I think Merton the spell which is a mistranslation of Meteor um, but you could then cast that 
and just devastate the opponent and heal you. Let's put her on point. No sense taking any risks. Forward. And so you start you start the game in these pieces of Magitek armor here. Um, Imperial Magitek armor. Not even Narsh is safe anymore. Magitek, Tech Missile, and Tech Missile. Uh, I don't like that screen flashing, flashing like that. I've actually heard that's a bug in the uh, in the Brave New World. Is the screen kind of flashing down there on the menu uh, in battle? Um, not entirely sure. I think that's the case. Your kind is not welcome here. But ultimately, I don't think that's going to make too much of a... It's going to be a, probably a little bit annoying and a little bit distracting, so I'm going to apologize for it in advance, but... I mean, I can't really help it. But yeah, we're fighting our way through this town because uh, an Esper has been located. Um, and the Empire that uh, Biggs and Wedge are a member of and that uh, we're kind of in service to has asked us to uh, check it out. And so we're driving our way through this town that obviously doesn't want us here. We've got them trapped. And this is this is cool right here because this is the first time Final Fantasy has had a like pincer attack where you've been surrounded. Uh, and so they get they kind of introduce you to that that idea uh, here at the very beginning of the game in a scripted battle. Those things hit a little bit harder than I remember. But honestly, I haven't played through this in quite a while. Um, at least since it got uh, released on the PS1, I think it was the last time. We must defend the mines. It was probably the last time that we really, I really played through it. I kind of expected that she'd probably be able to one-shot that, but apparently not. I may, after tonight, though, do a little bit of troubleshooting, seeing if there's anything to fix kind of that, uh, that menu flicker down there at the bottom. Plus, I know another person who's been playing through this, uh, and so I might see if he had the same uh, kind of bug happen with his playthrough. Mm. 
that is a little bit loud. I'm going to try and turn it down a little bit. Might want to go a little bit softer. Let's try minus 40. Let's just go like that. That's probably good. All right, so we're almost to the mine. According to our source, the Esper was found frozen in the ice under a new mine shaft. This must be it. And save. have to use it in battle. Oh, I forget this save point right here because it's at the beginning of the game actually um, heals you to fall too. Stand back. I've got this. We won't hand over the Esper. Welk, get them. Hold it. Think back to our briefing. What about it? Something about a monster that eats lightning and stores the energy in its shell. Right. So whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Usually you have to deal with him at least going into his shell once, uh, and then you don't want to attack it or you get a terrible counterattack. This is the Esper. Hey, witch! What's the matter? The frozen creature began emitting an eerie light. Where's that light coming from? Ah! What the hell? Witch! Where are you? What's going on? Hmm. Where am I? Whoa. I only just removed the crown. My head hurts. Easy. This is a slave crown. Those soldiers had complete control over you. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry. 
It'll all come back to you in time. A mysterious young woman, controlled by the Empire, and born with the gift of magic. And we're going to keep her name the same. I'm trying to keep everybody's names the same in this playthrough. My name is Tara. Wow, I've never heard of anyone recovering this fast. Open up. Give us the girl that was riding the Magitek armor. We're here for the girl. She's an officer of the Empire. Empire? Magitek armor? Oh no. You have to get out of here. I don't have time to explain. Over here. Make your way out through the mines. I'll keep these fu these fools occupied. All right, so now we got to make our escape. She's up there. All right, so got some enemies in here some of the some of the changes that they made um, is that some enemies now like counter if you use magic on them or counter if you use a physical attack um, I don't know when particularly they start coming into play uh, but it's, it's another added level of difficulty over the original game but I imagine the starting point where you're really just uh, going through the tutorial. You're probably not going to run into any of that. But I need to heal up after that. Another save point. Going to take advantage of that. And the enemy designs in this game, I loved them at the time because they were just so detailed compared to what like you had just seen on Final Fantasy IV. as well as other kind of SNES RPGs at the time. Because uh, this was technically before uh, Chrono Trigger. And so you didn't have the sprite detail that you had from Chrono Trigger quite yet. But that encounter rate is starting to show up. Hey, Rese, how are you doing? Or Reese, I can't remember how you want that pronounced. <laughs> Sorry. Of course I missed. And I need to heal after that one. Oh, that's not good. Yep, we just died. So first death, <laughs> I forgot how fast those uh, were rats are, come on, I'm doing all right, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit hot in here, our AC has been out for a little while, um, but it's supposed to get um, replaced early next week it looks like. So that will be a godsend. I can usually handle it if I'm in this room with these lights off uh, and the door open. 
because um, we do have AC on the other side of the house, and so having the door open helps out a ton. But if I start having a lot of deaths, I'll probably start a death counter on screen, honestly. Uh, I've never done one. It'd be fun to do it. Um, and so maybe um, on the like four hour mark, we'll have one of those. Can't remember which is the correct way to go here. Um. Brave New World is kind of a, uh, a ROM hack that uh, adds some difficulty to the game, um, limits what you can do with your characters a little bit, um, as well as um, changes uh, the enemy AI a little bit so that like some things counterattack when they didn't in the original game. But from what I understand, the, the way they do the magic system is a lot more preferable to um, to the original from what most people uh, have said. Uh, it just seems to make a lot more sense. Dear God, why are these hitting me harder? Like I level up and they start doing more damage to me. Hey, Azriam, how are you doing? I I don't know. I've been trying to figure out why it's doing that. I'm probably going to have to troubleshoot um, off stream. But it is a little bit distracting that it's flickering. Uh, I am using uh, RetroArch uh, because it was kind of... There she is. Um, I'll have to I'll have to look. Uh, I don't know off offhand which core it is. My sweet little witch. <laughs> with this slave crown, you'll be mine to do with as I see fit. Yeah, it's even doing it in this uh, flashback. Mwahaha, <laughs> good. Burn it all down. Soldiers of the Empire. We stand on the brink of a new era. In the days to come, we will witness the complete revival of magic. It is our destiny and ours alone to take the mystic force and claim what is rightfully ours. With our newfound power, nothing shall stand in our way. Hurrah! Long live Emperor Gustav! Um, honestly, as I, I'm going to have to, I'll, I'll have to trouble shoot it off stream because I, I don't know. I, I feel like I just downloaded RetroArch and it, it seemed to work when I was doing the opening. Uh, and so I haven't looked at it too closely. Um, but no, I don't think I've done anything but the normal 2.0 Brave New World patch. Took you long enough. How goes the robbing and plundering trade? Treasure Hunter and Trail-Worn Traveler, 
searching the world over for world over for relics of the past. And this is my favorite character in the game, Locke. The uh, treasure hunter. I prefer the term treasure hunting. Huh, semantic nonsense. There's a huge difference. Anyway, you sent for me? Yeah, there's a girl I'd like you to meet. You don't mean. The city guard is pursuing her as we speak. Even if we were willing to oppose the Empire, this town is no match for them alone. Our independence can only be assured if we join forces with the Returners. She wasn't responsible for her actions, and she needs our help, and we may need hers. All right, we'd better help her. She's escaped into the mines, but there's no telling how long she can hide. Rescue her, and then make your way to Figaro, or Figaro. The king should be able to help. Yeah, I'll play around and see what I can do with cores and stuff, uh, and maybe even Google to see if somebody else has had that same issue. Ooh, and this is a new type of battle that they introduced in this as well. Now we've got her. Wonderful. There's a whole bunch of them. Koopa? Moogles? Are you saying you want to help? Koopa! Use us to save Terra from the guards. Uh, no, I don't because I've done it before. Uh, but effectively, we've got three different characters, and we just uh, are supposed to keep the guards down here from getting to her. Uh, and we can switch between things. But we can switch between our characters and kind of uh, move them around to try and intercept these guards as they're making their way through. God, I love Locke's double attack. God, why does Mig have, like, no HP? But this isn't that hard of a battle on this, and so it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, there are more difficult ones in the game than this one. And we're early in the game, so I can just kind of attack my way through. Okay, your last line of defense. Yeah, I don't I don't expect that to continue to be the case. <laughs> 
This is clearly just the kind of introduction. Stopped. Well, then locks out of this battle. <laughs> okay, I will check out the beginner school then as soon as I get out of here. I've kind of looked around at some of the guides, and so I kind of know uh, some of the changes. Thanks, Moogles. We're in your debt. Yeah, now we sprint our way out. This should. Yeah, you back with me now. You saved me? Save your thanks for the Moogles. Ah, I can't remember anything. You have amnesia? Classic trope. A man said my memory would come back. Give it time. You're safe with me. I give you my word. Hmm? Trust me. I won't leave you until your memory returns. All right, so beginner school. This is a classroom for the beginner. Unless you've played this mod before, that means you. Please speak with everyone here and heed their advice. Stat gains are no longer tied to character levels, so there is no advantage to keeping them low early in the game. You don't need to min-max to beat this mod, and there really is no wrong way to build your characters. So just have fun, eh? This here is a genuine replica save point. There was no room left in the code for a real one. Save points let you save your game, and that's it. Tents don't exist in this game, so healing items are important to keep handy. I didn't know that there weren't tents. Okay. There do exist restore points, which fully heal your party in addition to letting you save, but they're much less common. Save often because you should, because should you die in battle, it's back to the title screen with you. There are no more mulligans. There's an option in the config menu to disable EXP gains if you don't want to overlevel. Please don't just leave it on all the time and then bitch to us about how hard the game is. When outfitting your party, remember that most equipment does more now than just boost raw defense or battle power. Hold Y when shopping to view the full stats on any item prior to purchase. Equipment can also, equipment can also be reviewed in the item menu. Double click for info and use left or right on the D-pad to switch views. Note that while stat boosts from equipment will stack, other properties, including HP MP boosts, will not. Most relics also have defensive benefits and or stat boosts, in, in addition to their main effects. Coordinate them with your armor for maximum enjoy. Dried meat is cheap and vital to keeping you alive early on. Tonics and potions restore, fra restore fractions of your, of your HP, so they're more useful later on. Only use Steel Command on foes who might be holding something, namely those of the human variety. Exce ex if successful, hunting for treasure 
will not consume Locke's turn. The chances of success, as well as the odds of getting better loot, rise with Locke's speed. Lighter armor may, be, may not provide as much defense as the heavier stuff, but it makes it easier to dodge physical attacks. Evasion rates vary from foe to foe. Faster ones are better at it, while slower opponents are not able to dodge at all. Meanwhile, many magical attacks can be avoided with either magic evade or stamina, depending on the attack. All enemies possess at least some stamina, depending on their max HP, but magic evade is exclusive to your characters. Want to roll? Run? Just hold down the B button. You can also set running as the default movement speed in the config menu. Yeah, I might actually set that on the config menu. That's not good. Got a phoenix down, though. It used to be that some chests would have better loot if you waited until later in the game to open them. We thought that was stupid, so now they don't. <laughs> you should go without saying, but talk to everyone that you meet. <laughs> That's pretty funny that it will, if you try and steal it, will just counter and kill you. Well, you, what are you doing right? What you're doing right now? That's good. Keep doing it. Many battles may seem overwhelming at first, but can easily and quickly, and can be easily and quickly dealt with by altering altering your strategy. Observe enemy behavior, and learn whatever whether it's better to attack directly, or to disable them before they can hurt you. Some foes, for example, will only become aggressive once they have taken damage or if they are alone. Certain type of enemies will counter close range attacks, even if the attack kills them. Larger foes and bosses may counter any kind of damage, so be careful when attacking with a weakened character. Finally, hitting an elemental weakness can sometimes have additional effects on enemies beyond the extra damage dealt. Battle Tactics. Weapons and or shields can be swapped in battle by pressing up in the item menu. Doing so will consume half a turn for one hand. Changing both requires a full turn. Spears and some relics allow characters to guard their allies from physical attacks, but only while standing in the front row. Allies at critical HP will always be defended. Allies in the back row will be blocked at random regardless of their health. The higher a character's stamina, the more likely he or she is to protect healthy allies. So basically everybody can be a coverer. You can change which row each character occupies by double clicking on, on them in the menu screen. Characters in the back row take less damage from physical attacks and deal less damage with their own. This penalty affects physical damage from special skills such as Bushido, as well as spells randomly cast from weapons. Some weapons do full damage from the back row, as will throw GP toss commands, or jump with any weapon. Characters can change row in the battle by pressing left on the D-pad. This is a quick action that only uses half a turn. Press right to defend, which halves all damage until another command is input. Note this is also a quick action. Press L or R to select multiple targets for any spell with no targeting restrictions, such as Terrace Fire or cure and Cure spells. Other commands with free targeting are Throw with Stars and GP Toss. The damage or healing dealt by anything split in this manner will be reduced by 50%. This split penalty also applies to some attacks that hit more than one enemy by default, such as Elemental Ninja Scrolls. Press X or Y in battle to hold an active character's turn and cycle to the next available ally. Hold select to toggle between ATP and max HP views. 
holding down L and R to run from a battle from battles that get out of hand. Faster characters like Locke are better at getting away quickly than others are. Katanas and spears can be used with two hands to increase their battle power by 50%. Claws, knives, and some other weapons allow the use of a second weapon. Using two weapons will cause damage output of both to be reduced by 25%. Gauntlet, gingy glove, when the blazes are those? Are you on dope, son? So they got rid of those items, okay. The stamina attribute helps helps you evade status ailments set by enemy attacks and avoid certain attacks altogether. A fail message is displayed whenever stamina prevents negative status. If the target is immune, it will say null. Stamina also raises the HP recovery from Regan uh, and lowers the drain from Sap. Several abilities such as Remedy and Regan spells or the Aura Ball Blitz now use stamina to determine their strength. And it also affects the frequency of counterattacks and or guarding allies for characters who can do so. Finally, stamina helps you take lower and more consistent damage from magical attacks. The vigor attribute does the same thing for physical damage taken in addition to governing physical damage dealt. And there's a remedy for us. Somewhere in this world is an advanced school with more knowledge to share. I think I know where that's at. Alright, out we go. I am going to save. And we're off. Okay, so we can melee these without fear of counter. Alrighty, as I'll see you in a little bit. All right, now we're gonna head down to Figaro Castle. So just a few random battles to get us there. Probably want to heal after that one though. And here's Figaro Castle. Halt! Oh, it's you. Proceed. So we run through. You mean, this is the young woman. Who, who are you? Oh, my apologies. How rude of me to turn my back to a lady. The young king of Figaro Castle, ally to the Empire, and a master designer of machinery. Edgar. I am Edgar. The King of Figaro. Surprised someone like me knows a king? Catch you two later. So, you're an Imperial soldier. No problem. 
Figaro and the Empire are allies. Please relax while you're here. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Why are you being so kind to me? Is it because of my abilities? I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if you're my type. Or I'm your type. I guess your abilities would be a distant third. Huh? Guess my te technique's getting a bit rusty. I suppose a normal girl would have found him dashing, but I'm hardly normal. Alright, before we follow them out... Let's go and buy these. Take those. Hopefully that's enough. Alright, now we can follow them. I'm trying to remember where we're supposed to follow them to. It's been so long since I've played this, I kind of forget where we're supposed to follow to. Please don't. We're still cleaning up the last guy who went down there. I think there's some scenes we can see if we go around. Long ago, a force known as magic existed. Those who used it were called sorcerers. Scholars the world over are doing research on magic. One day, I'll be a master engineer just like King Edgar. Also, that guy has a name. I don't think I ever realized that unless that's something specific to this. Okay, now let's check the other side. Uh, no. I think that's what it is. We're supposed to rest and then I might do it. So let's continue exploring a little bit and then we'll do that. Hello, I am Monica, High Priestess of Figaro and a matron to the royal family. Edgar has a twin brother. It's such a shame what happened. Edgar, what's wrong with father? What's all this talk of his, of his successor? Are you blind? Look how thin his face has become. Hmm. What are you talking about? Edgar. Are you crying? Edgar's twin brother, who traded the throne for his own freedom. 
seven. Ah, oh, seven. Oh, he looks so like his father. He was such a sweet child. I often wonder, wonder what he's like now. His Highness said we'd, he'd marry me when I get older. That's not creepy. The Empire sacked the three cities on the southern continent. Just a matter of time till they come up here. All right, now we can go rest. Okay, maybe that wasn't what we were supposed to do. Sabin found the whole business of succession so repugnant that he fled the castle forever. Story goes that it was settled with a coin toss. Here Emperor Gestal has harnessed the power of magic. Here the Empire is using something called Magitech. Oh, now he's back. Okay. Well, how do you like my castle? King Edgar, the General of the Empire, has requested an audience with you. Probably Kefka. The Emperor guessed all stupid orders. What kind of idiot builds a castle in the middle of nowhere? How inconsiderate. Ahem. There's sand on my boots. Yes, sir. All set, sir. Sniveling doormats. Sir Kefka, what brings you out of my way? I thought we were allies. What are you doing in my domain? Allies? Huh. With a pathetic country like this? You've been busy down south. Looking for more cities to destroy? That's for us to know. What brings Kefka, humble servant of Emperor Gestal, into our lowly presence? A girl of no importance recently escaped from us. We heard she found refuge here. Hmm. This wouldn't have, wouldn't have anything to do with this witch everybody's been whispering about, would it? Not at all. She merely stole something of minor value. She's here, isn't she? That's a tough one. You see, there are more girls here in here than a grains of sand out there. I can't keep track of all of them. Oh, Edgar, I'd hate to, I'd hate to be you if you were found out you were lying. It would truly be a tragedy if something were to happen to your precious Figaro. I'd say that guy's a few suits shy of a full deck. Where's Terra? Take her to her room. I'd love to chat with you, but the Chancellor and I must speak in private. Sometimes I hate being a king. If you'll excuse me. Follow me.
Okay, now we actually get a rest. <laughs>